The first confirmed vehicle is the Grotti Turismo Amagio, which is a two-door supercar, it's believed. And it's going to be based on the Ferrari F8 Tributo, which is a nice vehicle. Second confirmed vehicle is a Karen sedan. I'm sure if it's going to be an Astro model, but that is based on a early to mid-2000s Toyota Camry. And this is believed to be an HSW vehicle. I think they should add the Dodge Durango Hellcat because it is a high-performance SUV. And it would definitely be a nice twist on things since we get a lot of sports cars and supercars. And we already have a Gressley in the game since 2013. And I feel this vehicle needs an update bad. The Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk would be a great addition uh, because it would be another Jeep vehicle in the game, which we haven't got one in a little bit. And we also have the Seminole. And I think the Seminole could use a Hellfire variant. And the Seminole Frontier, which has also been added, is nice, but it doesn't really have good speed. The Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG would be a great addition because I think it'd be nice to have a new Benefactor SUV being remodeled. Um, we have the current Dubsta in the game, which is nice, but it needs an update. And we have the Dubsta 2 from the Agatha Missions and prior, which is nice. And in GTA 6, we have the new facelifted version of the Dubsta. So I think it'd be kind of a nice way to point towards GTA 6 as maybe a teaser for it. The Dodge Ram TRX would be a phenomenal addition because it would be a high-performance truck with great off-road capabilities and could rival the Cara Cara 4x4 in game, which is the Ford F-150 Raptor. And I just think the Bison needs a revive and an updated variant. The 2024 Chevy Silverado HD ZR2 Bison would be a nice addition because we don't have too many newer to classy trucks like newer models. Um, currently, the main ones in game are the Bobcat XL, which is nice, but could use a revamp, and the Walton L35, which was just added, but that's more or less based on an older model S10. The 2022 BMW M5 CS would be a great addition to the game, uh, because we haven't got an Ubermacht sedan in a while, and I feel they do deserve a high-powered sedan uh, to compete with the Jugular. We have the Oracle, but that's more or less a 7 Series. And we also have the Reinhardt, which is based on a wagon version of the 3 Series Touring. The 2004 Chevy Corvette Z06 would be a phenomenal addition because we haven't gotten a older model to coquette, like a 2000s model. And it would be a nice hint at GTA 4 with the recurring characters to bring back a vehicle from Liberty City. The 2016 Aston Martin Lagonda Turoff would be an interesting vehicle because not many people know about it, and there weren't very many made. Um, and also, the only four-door Duabashi car in the game is the Exemplar, which is from 2013, and I feel that could use a revamp as well. I think the Koenigsegg Gamera would be an interesting vehicle just because of how it looks. Um, you know, it's not like overly crazy looking it looks decently nice and it'd be kind of a nice add-on since the last overflawed vehicle which was the entity mt based on the jesco the mclaren speedtail would be a nice addition because of how it looks um, it wouldn't look like any of the other supercars i'm um, having such a long back to it very sleek great car for you know going fast and great handling and I feel that since we haven't got a Progan car since the Ameris, I think it's time to get another Progan vehicle added to the game. The Bugatti Bolide would be a nice car to have since it is a track hypercar that was unveiled in April of 2023 with the production model. And I think it's been a little bit since we've gotten a Trufade vehicle added to the game. And I feel this would be a great contender as it looks very clean and sleek. The 2023 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Jailbreak would be great to have in the game just because of the immense speed it has, and it's the last year that this Dodge Charger is going to look like this before it goes to the new variant. And I feel the Buffalo STX could use a wide body upgrade when it gets housed to have the speed of the Red Eye and be the fastest in the game. The 1993 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra would be a great addition because we don't have a Fox-bodied Mustang in the game yet from the late 80s, early 90s. 
and we already have a lot of different variants of the Dominator. But even an SVT Cobra R variant would also be nice to have as well. And it could be nice to bring back the Uranus um, from GTA 4. The 1991 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z would be a very nice car to have in the game because it's an early 90s American muscle car, an instant classic um, in 2023, 2024, once that hits. And I feel the Ruiner could use another update as well. The Dinka Hakumai would be a great vehicle to add um, from GTA 4 into GTA 5 because it could compete with the Futo GTX and the regular Futo. And it's also a 1980s Japanese import sedan, which is nice. Who wouldn't want to tune and drive around in a 1980s Honda Accord? The Anis Pinnacle. One of my favorite personal vehicles of GTA 4 because, well, it's a common everyday sedan. But it's not low-end, it's decent, medium-range luxury. And who doesn't want to radiate with some of that big Ultima, I mean big Maxima energy? The PMP 600 would be a nice car to add, because who doesn't want a pimped-out, chop-topped sedan? I mean, it's just fucking awesome. Now, in GTA 6's trailer, we see a PMP. Is it a 600 or is it a PMP 700? But either way, the Chrysler 300 is a phenomenal vehicle. It is the common man's Rolls Royce or Bentley. The Willard Willard, my favorite sedan following the Pinnacle from GTA 4, because this car reminds me of that drunk detective who still carries a revolver on duty and is able to drive a personal vehicle. And it's just a late 80s, early 90s American masterpiece, the Buick LeSabre. And, well, we got a Greenwood and we have an Emperor in the game. Why not add another classic? The tow truck is making an appearance in GTA Online following its use in story mode with the new edition of Red's Auto Parts. As you can see, there's a tow truck there in the photo, which is going to be tied to the missions, but there's also a Red's in Polito Bay. So maybe it's going to be part of one of the sites you can purchase, and the Zentorno is getting updated liveries and more modification. Unsure if that includes HSW. That was my wish list for the GTA update vehicles because it hasn't been fully revealed yet what's being added. And it's coming out on Tuesday, which is in two more days. Now, that being said, these are my opinions. And if you have anything you'd like to see, put it in the comments section below. And thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.